Hello, I'm Daniel Brown and I'm in Stoke-on-Trent today for Port Vale against Swindon Town. Um, I'm joined here with Luke Lewis, who's with me as well. What's your score prediction? Well, Swindon have got a new manager, haven't they? Don't know. Yeah, yeah they probably. They have recently. Um, two teams only separated by a couple of points. So, I think I'm going to go with a 1 0 Swindon victory. Um, I'm going to go for a. I'm going to go for a 3-2 Swindon as well, because I think last last season the last fixture was 3-2 at Swindon, so I think it's going to be something like that. Tom Pope will score for Port Vale, definitely, and Keshi Anderson for Swindon. We'll see you at the ground. You know these grounds with Olympic tracks around them? This one hasn't got an Olympic track, but it's got this. What is that? Look how far away from the stand it is. There's my father. Where? Going for Olympic gold. Anyway, here's the stadium. That stand isn't actually done yet. As you can see, it's got just... Port Bell seems to be a very unfinished club for some reason. I don't think it ever got started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of the game no with goal. your blue glasses. Suit me well, don't they? Goal. No goal. I think it's going to be headed away. No, I think Scott Twine's going to head it in. Maybe. Here's a cross coming in. Oh dear, what was that? There's a corner coming in. Oh, that again, that again. oh it's going to come back in. No, maybe not. Port Vale. Looks quite nice. Here's a goal or no goal situation. What's your score? Our score is it's going to go over the bar. Hello. Who in the stadium? It's because it's because Swindon have had three chances in the last five minutes. Well, yeah, yeah. Anderson with two chances and Twine with one as well. Go on, really, it could be three or four, yeah. Are we going to get the chance? That was missed chance. for it? the Swindon. And it's partially cleared. Not cleared yet because it's going to be crossed back in. No, it's not. Comes another. Free kick to Paul Bayer. Can he do it this time? No, he can't. Oh. Well, half time it's nil, nil one to Swindon, and Port Vale have been absolutely rubbish. No, you know, you know, the atmosphere has been a bit toxic, I have to say. Yeah. Port Vale, of course. Uh, oh, God, um, Swindon are. Swindon have had, well, I wouldn't say chance. Very much Swindon have, you know, David as well, and lost their last game 4 0. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know. I don't know. Not to say. Really, they should have dominated that game. Really, got the first half, and um, yeah, they'll be absolutely, they'll be devastating there. Twins, they'll be thinking of losing. If not, they're winning. They really should. Two or three, they're up. 
And you do just wonder, even in the fact the is they might get away well, with all these chances. Open goal. Oh, oh, that was that. That, top out, header from a corner. That is unbelievable. <laughs> <You missed> that. <laughs> the one person you want to fall into for Port Vale, it would be the number nine. You know, but but no. surely, surely the second half, you've got to shout something. Because you've got to get back in the football match, you know what I mean? Yeah. I dread to think what the atmosphere is going to be like if it's like this again in the second half. Yeah. for Port Vale here maybe maybe still oh maybe not how would you describe this second half it has been better than the first it has hasn't it it has well in the last 25 minutes of it. Yeah, because there's been nothing happening that's why the video is so short you didn't know there wasn't did you? <laughs> <laughs> and here's a corner for Swindon anyway oh 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 oh, oh. And no, it's cleared. Peter Wright, you cunts! <laughs> Who? Peter Wright, you cunts! <laughs> That's a referee, by the way, folks. Free kick in a dangerous position for Port Vale with two minutes to go after, after Peter Wright's decision. Create. Can he do it? Oh, God almighty. Is Mitchell Clark? Oh, corner! Ten minutes around in time. Ten minutes out of time. Get, and get, get back in the seats. They do. Well, one of them does. What do you say? The keeper's coming up. It's surely the last chance. Can Port Vale salvage in the eleven? Absolutely dramatic point here against Swindon. Yes. Will it be a late goal? What can they get him? Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, it's coming back. No. Is it gonna come back? Oh no. Oh it's a throw in! Come on! It's gonna be a long throw as well. Last chance saloon for the veil. Imagine these scenes. Soccer sat over the goal. The park is a keeper. It's a cross coming in. And it's, it's a header. Oh. It's in the box. No. <laughs> and Swindon of Town won. And they've deserved well, no, and they're the fans. So, Port Vale nil, Swindon Town 1. What was your opinion on the game? I thought it lacked a lot of quality from both teams, but I thought Swindon did enough to win the game, to be honest. Port Vale were very poor, I must say. Um, they improved to be in the second half. Um, they had a couple of, go a couple of, a couple of shots. Which, a couple of goals. A couple of goals, a couple of shots, which they weren't doing in the first half. To be honest, it lacked a lot of quality, you know what I mean? I didn't expect to quality game today both teams were struggling down the wrong side of the table and it was always going to be one of them games that the first goal could well be the winning goal and that's why somebody here predicted the correct 1-0 scoreline um, so the other person got it completely wrong but we shall not talk about that um, yeah um, it was a good goal from it was a good goal from what I remember 
<laughs> it's remember? probably won't say much. It's a while ago. It was a while ago. It feels like ten years ago. It was ten eleven had me added minutes, but to be honest, I never got a score for that really were poor, you know what I mean? It's a new manager mm. for Swindon, that's what you get. But the thing is, manager. what's the highlight of the game? I know the highlight of the game. Go on and tell me. It was Peter Wright. Oh god. Peter Wright, I He was that. terrible, the officials in in League One and League Two, just you know what I mean? Mm. Really, yeah. But Peter Wright. It's, yeah, it's not an easy job, of course, but God, the decisions have gone wrong. Didn't they? <laughs> I mean, Swindon should have had five or six bookings in the game today. Mm. Yeah. I don't know the end of it. Is. Anyway, should we Never end mind. it here? Yeah, there's not much to say, folks. I'm sorry about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> we do a good game. The next mm. game. We, we, I tell you what is interesting. There's a Barnes coach over there. <laughs> oh yes. There's Swindon fans going back to Wilshire. Celebrating yeah, this... a big three points for them. Yep. And we're going to go back to the Midlands now to go home, watch Home a Celebrity, and watch Wolves vs Huddersfield after tomorrow. He's, after he's had his McDonald's fixed. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That's two Swindon games we've been to now. And Both 1-0 one one nil nil to Swindon. Yes. I'm sure we'll probably. So we'll see you next again. time from. Wherever on the 8th of December, we haven't decided yet. Oh, yeah. We'll decide. See you later. See you later.